Sort of foul mouth fishing. I got a grab bag of goodies and some quick info. Uh, so last uh, a few few episodes back, I asked you guys what was your go-to finesse baits. What were your bread and butter finesse techniques in cold water um, during the winter months, during the fall, during the, uh, the early early spring? when the water's still cold and the fish are on that slow bite, that slow retrieve bite. So uh, I took your advice, as I always do, and I went and I stopped off at my local Dick's the other day, and I decided to, um, to grab a few of your suggestions. And as I said, I'm gonna add them to that giveaway that we've got going for Christmas in July. So first and foremost, uh, let's crack into this and see what I did pick up. So we're gonna start off with something that I mentioned in the last video, which is a bigger ticket item. I got four of them here. <clears throat> there we go. So I told you the Berkeley had those, um, those bucktooth baits, and I got the bucktooth beaver in, uh, in this brown color. It's over there. Well, they had two varieties. They had that bucktooth beaver uh, lipped like square bill, and that's uh, this guy right here. So it's got a little square bill on it. It's got little buck teeth imprinted on the uh, on the plastic square bill, and it's just got this flat paddle. And the cool thing about this, uh, fishing with Norm took uh, took this bait out uh, near a, a reservoir with a big dam, and he caught some pretty big bass on it. Uh, the thing about this is this is like a crankbait. It's it's subsurface. You can burn it down to depth, and these little paddle in the back, this little tail kind of whips back and forth, and it just gives us great shimmy. And he was having really great success. Now, when I went to Dick's last time, they only had four of them, they only had one color, and they only had this variety. But since I shopped there so much, <laughs> and I'm pretty good friends with uh, the management and staff there because they see me so often, uh, they decided to make a couple of phone calls, and uh, I got... The other color, so the original color uh, was this color in uh, what they call the brown, and then now I have it in this one, which is the tanned. So this is the subsurface in tanned, uh, and this is the other style back in that brown color. So this is the uh, Chapo style. This is sort of like a whopper plopper. Other than the subservice, which has that bucktooth uh, square bill, this one does not have a bill on the front, but it has that whopper plopper style tail in the back, and it's got it's got the same like leatherette style um, paint scheme. I'm gonna take this guy out of here. So I got this guy. See, it's got the whopper plopper tail, double trebles, no front bill, little beaver kind of face, and then the tail is actually textured on the back. See that? That's pretty cool. Little leatherette style texture on the plastic tail. Um, really cool. This obviously is top water uh, whopper plopper style. So I had to pick up a whopper plopper one for me. And I had to pick up the other color for me. And I figured I might as well pick that tanned up in the Whopper Plopper as well. And since I'm getting a tanned Whopper Plopper, I'm going to throw one of these in to the giveaway. So you guys are getting both the subsurface as well as a plopping tail one. So I just figured, why the heck not? Um, then everybody's happy. That's one. Um, now, as far as your input 
So, one of the things that was suggested was drop shotting. Drop shots and, uh, you know, Nico rigging and stuff like that. So what I got was I got some owner number two art uh, mosquito hooks. These are like my go-to um, drop shot hook. Um, I like these because the, the, the head's just slightly tilted back and I, um, I snell knot my drop shots. So I, I know you, you'd snell knot a Texas rig um, because as you're pulling, when the weight comes down, it's going to pivot that hook up. I snell knot my drop shots um, and then use the tag end for the, uh, you know, for that, the weight or, I'll, you know, I'll do the standard through knot for a drop shot. But I don't know, it's just me, me personally, I'm kind of odd. <laughs> but I got those. They're going in the giveaway for drop shot technique. I got you some weedless wackies for the wacky rig because um, that's also a great suggestion for cold water. And I got some stand-up shaky heads. Uh, VMC, I love VMC hooks. Um, these are 3 16 stand-up shaky heads. So, And they got the screw lock keeper, which I like with my shaky heads because it'll work on everything from uh, a small, you know, Nico or Ned style uh, worm or, um, or even, you know, a fluke style bait. You can screw that on there. Weed it, or rig it weedless, text posed, uh, because it's got the little flexible um, screw lock. It's not built into the head. It's actually its own little uh, screw lock so that'll move so you can adjust it and get it on there nice and neat and clean. That's going in for you as well. Uh, as well, for the drop shots, I got you some VMC's tungsten teardrops and some tungsten pencils uh, to go for the drop shot rig. And there. All that's going in. As far as the baits themselves. So, suggestions. One, Z-Man's, um, their TRD Ticklers in the deal. A uh, big shout out. I got a package, an eight pack of those. So they're going in there. Uh, the TRDs, that Elastec, stretch it for miles and miles. It doesn't tear up. You'll get many, many fish out of one bait. So this would work really well on those shaky heads. Again, the screw lock helps. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, with screw lock keepers on, on Z-Man products. It is kind of hard to get them first uh, threaded. But once they're on there, they're on like Donkey Kong. Uh, also, a set of the TRD Craws in the deal and a set of TRD Craws in Mudbug. So I'm going to throw one of these in that package. Uh, what else did I get for y'all? I got you some bobber stoppers because you can never go wrong with bobber stoppers and I think you need them, uh, especially if you're Texas rigging or um, there's a couple of tips and tricks that I've had with bobber stoppers I've listed in other videos, uh, specifically the... Um, the uh, uh, lipless line through crankbait that came out a few months ago um, just to protect you from breaking off the hook and losing the bait itself using a bobber stop in a, in a easy common sense way can save you uh, that bait so that's the, the trap line rip knocker so uh, I'll leave a, a little card up here for uh, the trap line rip knocker so that uh, you can Check that video out, but that'll give you a one hint, hint and tip on uh, how to best use these to protect your finances so you, you save yourself some baits. Got some Yami, Yami Moto Zankos. So these are the Gary Yamamoto 4-inch Zankos. Awesome, awesome. I got these in the electric shad color for those with shad on their, on their lake. It also really does a good... Uh, you know, shiner and bluegill pattern because it's got that blue hue to it. That's pretty cool. That's going in there. And we got ourselves for me to try out because, you know, I'm just an interest in, in this design. I love um, bladed jigs, and this is that Guggen uh, Bates version of their jig, bladed jig. This is their clickbait. So the thing about this is the head design, the way it's attached, unlike most bladed jigs, um, 
this one's got kind of a very unique connection for the blade. So you tie directly to the wire that runs through the leaded head and the hook itself. And the blade is kind of attached through that with these little beads on the top and three on the bottom. And as this goes and rattles, it hits those beads and it makes a very unique clicking sound. Um, so that's a unique sound profile I think that would be seen or heard underwater. Got it in their uh, fire craw pattern because we all know fire craw colors are a V deal um, in winter and cold water in pre-spawn. So I figured, excuse that it's open, but I figured you deserve one of these. So I decided to buy two. One for me, one for you. So that's going into the uh, into the giveaway. And I love hard knockers, so I got myself a uh, Red Delta Craw in the KVD's hard knocker. Again, cold water. That single thud, like a like a two tap or a single knocker. These things have always been successful for me. Delta Craw. Definitely a good color. Any red profile color, uh, crawl patterns or not, red is a great color for me. So, thought that for cold water. And I wanted to try these out personally. These are the Z-Man's Pro Crawl. So these are just like the, the Z-Man's TRD Crawls, but these are in their full size, three and a half inch profile. So it's a three pack, uh, as opposed to the TRDs, which come, I think, six? Six, yeah. Six in the TRDs. Um, these are three and a half inch, and they fit three in there. I wish they would. They should have. I wish they'd put them in this way and at least give you four or five. But it is what it is. But I wanted to try these out. I like larger profile crawls. To me, a larger profile is is better for a bigger bass. I don't know. I think a big bass gets a big meal. Although a small bass is uh, his mouth is bigger than his stomach nine times out of ten. Anyway, that said. So that's my haul for, oh wait, one more thing for you, spin shots for the drop shot as well. So I got some spin shots, uh, hooks for you to go in there. These are really great. You can tie off and then tie or run your line down, tie it to the bottom and run your drop shot hook, uh, drop shot sinkers off of that. And this way it'll free spin around your line. So you can tie to the top, tie, run your drop shot off the bottom one, your hook sits in the middle and spins. Great if you're a river fisherman, great if you're, um, you know, fishing anywhere where there's current, uh, like, you know, off points or in, in little inlet channels and outlets, you can catch current. This keeps your bait facing into the current. You're not going to have the line twist and, uh, and that kind of stuff. So I threw a pack of those in. These are little one-aughts. Again, good for drop shots, etc. News. And this one is more of a shout out to uh, Brett and Chris and Be Fishing. So, uh, just so you know, if you happen to be on Lake Eufaula, uh, your backyard, I suppose, on Monday the 22nd, um, don't expect to get boat ramp access because they're going to be fishing there. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, the Major League Fishing uh, has moved from Texas. They were planning to do uh, a tournament in Texas but obviously with everything going on with the, the cold Arctic weather that they've had and the issues, they've decided to move it to Eufaula. So uh, I guess congratulations, you got yourself a new fishing tour. <laughs> so uh, expect to see all those guys out there on the water uh, on Monday, the 22nd of February. Uh, good luck to all you anglers out there uh, in, 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 uh, in the tournament. Um, but that, that about wraps it up for this. Uh, one thing I want, because I want to keep this quick and, and get on with it. So my next question. So last time it was, what was your uh, sh your your cold water um, finesse style fishing? So we went with like the TRDs and you know Ned rigs and and uh, drop shots, etc. So now I'm going to go with, what is your your bread and butter go to? fishing line so i mean i i have a, a big heart for like p lines tactical fluorocarbon 
or J braid for my braid. Um, what is your preferred brand? What pound tests do you typically fish in your neck of the woods? Um, I'm a power fisherman. I go way above board of what I need. So I don't expect to catch uh, an eight or 10 pound bass in my waters. They're not very common, but I, I gear up for catching, uh, you know, a 10 or 12 pound bass because for me, I rather catch a dink on, on, you know, <laughs> on, on a, a boat chain, uh, rather than catch a monster on sewing thread. I'd rather be prepared, <laughs> you know, but that's just me and I'm kind of crazy that way. And that's why a lot of times I go braid to leader because I can always change my leader line down to a four or six or eight pound or 10 pound test and still have a higher uh, pound test braid. So I know I'm not going to break off on my main line and I know I can always finesse down on my, uh, on my leader material or I can run off half my spool and then do the other half of the spool in a lighter line like switch down to a four pound mono or a six or eight pound fluoro uh, and then still have that 15, 20 pound braid uh, backing. Um, just that's me. So that's my question for the next shopping trip that I'll be taking. Let me know what is your preferred line. Line brand, line style, pound test weight, and what applications do you typically use these for? Um, when I jerk bait, I go fluorocarbon. When I'm pitching and flipping, I go straight braid. Uh, when I use crankbaits, I typically go braid to leader. Um, sometimes I'll do braid to mono uh, for, for my crankbaits, just because when I'm setting the hook, uh, that little bit of stretch prevents me from jerking the bait out of the fish's mouth because I tend to react a little fast and that little split second sometimes gives me the option to to get that fish pinned before I rip it out of his mouth and then I got a cast back and uh, it's fish lost. Um, so with that in mind, share with me your opinions because I'm looking forward uh, to continuing to build this giveaway and I appreciate having your input because I want this to be a giveaway for everyone and I want it not just to be the typical you know, some guy, again, has a, a brand sponsorship with, uh, you know, Berkeley. So he gives you a bunch of Berkeley baits, and that's your giveaway. Or he goes into his MTB that he gets, and he just gives a bunch of baits from the MTV. I want to give you something that Joe Blow gives me input, you know, uh, Chris gives me input, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bass Boxing Outdoors gives me input, and and all these things so I want I want it to be a community giveaway I want your community input so that when I give back to whatever is the lucky winner out there one of you knows that something in this box came from one and all of us and something in this box probably came from your suggestion so maybe if your suggestion is something that you don't have that you wanted and I get it and you win it you know big ups so again as always from me to you tight lines be safe uh, take care, everybody out there in, in the big Texas panhandle in Texas going through this, uh, this cold snap and all the surrounding communities. I've been out shoveling snow nonstop, uh, so I, know what it's, I don't know what it's like to be without power. I'm more lucky. But uh, nevertheless, yeah, it's, it's, it sucks. <laughs> I, I want the white to go away. I'm a, fa I'm a fair weather fisherman. I don't like cold. But uh, that all said, again, be safe out there. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, Hookaholics. I know it's lonely at the tail, but that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall.